Okay, so let's get this party started. Same stuff I had from my last video. I went ahead and installed the thermostat housing on there, sealed it up. That was a better solution, I think, to sealing up in its entirety. I pulled a vacuum on it after pinching off the black hose, and it worked great. So I know I've got a good you know, integrity as far as my total system is concerned. I put the evapo rust into that clear jug because I want to be able to see what's going on. And I'm going to set it up. Let's see if I can get a good picture here of what's going on. So I'm going to basically set it up over here. It's, the, the hose is limited in length, so I have to kind of be careful I don't make a huge mess and dump this $30 worth of evapo rust out. We're going to put this down in here. It pretty much goes to the bottom of the jug. I want to be able to see the evapor rust as it goes away. I'm going to pinch it. I think what I'll do is I'll probably pinch it off. I'll start the pump. I'll, when I'm ready to actually insert, this this will kind of stay, I think. Let's see here. You know, so I better get that secured better. Uh, hang on. It's going to be a disaster to dump all that stuff. Let me see what I can do. Ah. I can't see a simple solution to that. I, mean, I, I think what will happen is once I get it hooked up, the hose will keep it in place. So we're just going to go ahead and start the vacuum pump up. I'd like to be able to see what the vacuum is saying while I'm doing this, but I'm not going to do that. It's all pretty janky. Okay. And you'll hear the vacuum pump change into the vacuum cold heat. Oh yeah, I feel it. Okay. So what we're gonna do now, hope you can see this, let me bend this up a little bit. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to Pinch this off, get this ready. Let's see just how fast that vacuum builds. I hear it building. And now, there we go. Man, it is taking it in there quick. Oh, shoot. Damn. Oh, man, that's a Okay. <laughs> Uh, I wasn't paying attention, and we had a little, I went a little too far. So I don't know why I just get my pump up, I just dump all the oil out and redo that. But I'm glad I got that on film. That was a mistake. Anyway, well clearly I got a gallon's worth of stuff in there. I mean, I'm sure I got it in there because it sucked it. Oh, you can see where it is. Here. The sight glass tells the truth right there. So I'm up to the top of the cylinder. So that was kind of a mess. That was a swing and a miss. Let me take a look at my oil in my thing. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, I gotta pull that out. <sighs> I should have been paying attention here. That's why I did that. Make it clear so I could see it. Clearly I was too focused on what was going into it. It didn't even take a full gallon. And this is now a nice mix of oil and coolant. But uh, it's done. It's got it's got the evap it's got the evapo rust in it. So I'm going to be cleaning this whole mess up in a little bit. I'm going to let that sit there for a while. Again, if I'm if I do this right, the it's it's right to this level right here. Um, I guess I can confirm that because I intentionally cut this hose. right here to be approximately the top of the head. So if I unplug this top piece, it should be kind of where we are. Let's see. Yeah, the evapo rust is right about here. So we're looking good. I could actually get a funnel now and just pour the rest of it in. I think I'll go ahead and do that. Wow, that was a, that was 
not cool. That is kind of a don't move on me. I'll bet it hurts my pump. I get all that alcohol rust in it. Boy. Well, I'll deal with that later. I'm going to have to turn you guys off and come back and clean this mess up. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.